Today we're going to be playing some Five Nights at Freddy's inspired levels, and considering spooky season has started, it's the perfect time. All right, so we have five nights of levels. They're called Scrub Night. This is night one. This is by Cole and Bryce. Sorry if I pronounced any names wrong. Um. Okay, a door. Another door. Zoom out. Does this harm me at all to sit here? Oh, of course it only... Vent? Burning? Some other kind of burning? What if I decide to go on an adventure? It looks like I go off camera if I die. Oh, he's on the move! I'm not sure what the bottom right would do for me. Oh, okay, and he disappears and dies. Okay. Simple enough. And I have to live, like, six-ish minutes? Is there any problem with me just sitting here? Comes another enemy. It's funny how fast he's moving his legs and he's not making a whole lot of progress. Must have been a treadmill up there. The blobfish has me slightly concerned, mainly because I don't know how fast it's going to move. I'm going to try to hop back on right away so I can see what happens to him. It's a mystery. No clue. I'm also not sure what that one minute timer is that's on the right side. And considering each level is like a singular, singular night, are we going easy? right now and we're not gonna have a whole lot happen and then as we get to two three four and five it's gonna be wild particularly five because i think five is like unbeaten aside from obviously the fact that it was uploaded <laughs> and it had to be beaten there but oh he moves faster whoa he moves significantly faster I can see where this gets complicated. Does it open automatically after a certain amount of time? Huh? I guess I don't understand how this works. This makes me think it would expire and there's some kind of thing here. Like there's hard lights there? Are they there for a reason? At least the scrub gives me a sound warning. Oculus, not so much. Scrub incoming. It's necessary with how fast he moves. Yeah, I'm not sure how the doors work. Because I don't see any harm. Like, would it hurt me if I just do this? And just sit in this box? I should try that at the start of the next level. This is not the time to try such a thing. <laughs> when I've been here for already five minutes. This is where I was concerned. I knew that kind of thing was going to happen eventually. I also wonder where the goal is. And the package. Last set of enemies. Or one more. Going with me, survive the night. of escape the terrifying workplace and we'll survive another day. All right, time for night two. 
We're gonna try this right now. Because I don't understand. The heck? Where did that fish go? Ah, I see what happens now. If I leave the doors closed for too long. I still survive, but I will never... Oh, interesting. Okay. But I'll never be able to live permanently. Got it. Okay. I feel pretty good now that I know what that is. This purple arrow over here on the right makes me a little nervous. Like, I don't know what that means. Does it have something to do with the crumbler? Because we have a angry death looking sign that says 30 seconds. Okay, I also need to prevent that from happening. <laughs> Got it. Can I just stand on this the whole time? That was close. Four, three, two, one. Definitely more dangerous on night two. I could see where night five could end up becoming, like, unbearable. Oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> but, like, 410 is when the crumbler is gonna try and come at me. I don't know what happened there. Did it detect that there was an enemy that it didn't want to squish or something? Oh my god! I forgot what that sound meant. Oh boy. We're already dying. We've died three times? Part of it was experiments. I just realized those warning signs aren't there anymore. In the first level, there were warnings for the scrub and the ocula. Not the case in this level. Okay, so at 315 is the next one. This is, of course, around the time when the scrub suddenly appeared. That was so close. When's the next time? Okay, we're still like 25 seconds out. Okay. So it's gonna be at like 220. Use some of the right door battery.
We're gonna have one more round of crumbler. 30 seconds. Maybe not. Might be done. Seems like it. Whoa. All right, night two, we have survived. On to night three. It's certainly gonna be harder. <laughs> Is the pupfish moving faster? We've got some kind of other sign over here on the left that I don't know what it is. Uh, where'd the fish go? Oh, there it is. That is quite a long path, interesting. And I no longer get a warning for this either. I forgot about that. Five fifteen. So when that one's gonna trigger. Just like a fluke that it didn't happen. I need to figure out what the next time is because I totally forgot about it before. <laughs> All right. Peanut slow. Send the fish back, send the fish back, send the fish back. All right. That's not the right timing. Ah! I went for the wrong one. For some reason, I associated that sound with the sound of the timer on the left going off. Not a good sign. I keep getting distracted. 5.15 is when it goes off the first time. I clearly would not be a very good night guard. Night watch, whatever you want to call me. All right, I have three minutes. Probably not actually gonna go off this time. Okay, we got peanut coming. Two fifteen. All 
Not sure what was going on down there at the bottom right, but it told me to do something. It's getting so much more complicated. When's the next one of this? At forty five seconds. And then at zero seconds? Oh boy, that's concerning. Just to be safe. I'm also gonna go this direction. <laughs> survive we had a few difficulties it's only gonna get harder from here though on to night four this is the first one that is marked a five diamond everything seems like it's going so much faster Five is the next one. Okay, apparently it was not at quite 455. Oh, it's off by four seconds and not five seconds now? That complicates things. Holy crap. Oh, God. What's the next time? 17 seconds. Oh, oh God. Three, two, one. Time to find the fish. Ooh, that was almost a little too close. Fish is definitely going so much faster. Okay, we've got peanut and an ocula to deal with.
minute left. No! One of these days, I'm just gonna completely miss these buttons. It's almost that time. <laughs> oh my god. Two, one. Ah, uh, the impatience is real. The impatience is real. I lost track. Because I think it only actually moves every other one. I can see why Night 5 might not have been beaten before. <laughs> this is quite the challenge. I have concerns. <laughs> I don't have much battery life left. we're gonna survive night five when that rolls around yeah we've died twice now closer to the end of the night once around what was that 105 that was the last one and the first time that we got that far we died at like 45 seconds i don't feel like i don't have super great commentary for this level partially because we're kind of sitting in one place the whole time. There's the instance of me missing the button! I have no idea where the fish is right now. Alright, it's back up the top left, where it belongs. That's always nerve-wracking. Okay, we survived that one. No, oh, god, fish. I have one more crumbler to deal with. Maybe. Alright. We've completed night four. It only took like several tries oh and i'm the only the third person to beat it wow all right on to night five and it's raining fish is definitely moving faster crumbler happens more often too you've got like victoria sounding music but i have a feeling i'm gonna die a lot and we'll see if we beat this at all didn't succeed. I know there's an ocula coming. Okay. Oh my god, the fish. We're off to a terrible start. Okay, 535 is when the crumbler comes. That's also roughly when the ocula shows up. Where'd the peanut spawn?
Jeez. Oh my god, fish. When is the next time? Oh! Wow! This is a challenge. I'm not doing so great at doing the math in my head for the crumbler, which is not good. I think it's on a 25 second cycle. Idea where the fish is. That's the farthest we've gotten, I think. very good at missing buttons on night five. <laughs> it seems doable so far. Again, with me missing buttons. We were under four minutes, so we were a third of the way there. I guess I could have killed it. I have some ideas. One, grab the thing that the Lazumi drops as a backup weapon. It's obviously not gonna save me from Crumblers, but... Wow, terrible timing. It's not obviously not gonna save me from Crumblers, but it could possibly save me from a peanut. That's a terrible idea. Okay, noted. Yikes. We should back up the top left. Oh my god. I have no idea where the fish is right now. shouldn't have done that. We made it to one minute. <laughs> Roughly. We can definitely beat this. 
that it's on a 25 second cycle for the crumbler is probably helping the most. That was close. I should have used my backup weapon to stall him. Uh, that was all problematic. <laughs> I saved myself, um, only to end up killing myself. Literally the exact incorrect try. The exact opposite of what I needed to do. I think this is gonna be the last try. I kind of remember that. We've been there before. Dude, that was so close. To be safe? That wouldn't have been safe anyways. That was frightening. Beat the level! Woo! We 
survived five nights. We died a lot on the fifth night. A lot of trial and error. First one to beat it. Woo, cool. Those were some cool levels. Definitely had FNAF vibes. Level codes are in the description if you're interested. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.